Hey, what's going on everyone? It is B. Avery here again for another trailer reaction. This one is by 20th Century Fox, which could be no more pretty soon with the news is just dropping. This is Alita Battle Angel official trailer number two. I'm saying official trailer number two. It says official trailer, but I believe this is the second one. I reacted to uh, the first trailer like I think the first trailer came out like in 2017 at the end of the year or maybe it came out earlier this year. I can't remember. It looked pretty fascinating. Um, a lot of it got a lot of hate online because the uh, character had a, a big bug eyes. Uh, I thought it looked kind of weird and cool at the same time. But we got this trailer right here. So let me go ahead and put on these headphones and you guys can stop listening to me talk and watch me watch the trailer. Here we go. You told me the story of the war when the ground shook and the sky burned. Of the ones that survived, who awoke to a different world where the powerful prey on the weak. But that's not the way it has to be. When I found you, your very human brain was miraculously intact. It's the loneliest feeling not to know who you are. In time, you'll remember. I remember black skies, the lightning all around me. Alita is new here. It's a harsh world down here. You gotta be willing to do what it takes. Alita, run! Oh, I'm all over this. Hell yeah. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. Oh, God. Yeah, this is so bad. She's the last of her kind. She contains technology Woo! that have been lost for 300 years. Let me show you something. This is her kid. Oh, kind of ass. This body. I feel a connection to it. I can't explain. You know more about me than you're saying. Alita, some things have been left forgotten. Then I'll find out for myself. She's threatening the natural order of things. I need you to destroy her. Alita, they will come for you. I'll have to face them head on. I'm gonna need you to stand way back. <laughs> is not a game. It is a heart. She hit that thing. Oh, shit. Get over here. Yeah. <laughs> I could not wait to see this. Uh, I'm with her. Yeah. <laughs> Battle Angel, my ass. That's what's up. Oh, this is going to be in December 21st? Oh, it's going to be so crowded. That, okay. Y'all, I was kind of quiet for the most part doing that trailer or whatever. But, man, when she started doing that martial art, it looked like she was doing uh, some Wing Chun, too, or whatever. Uh, shout out to uh, Yip Man. Uh, rest in peace. Never met you. But, anyway. Yeah. So, Action Adventure Romance, December 21st. Robert Rodriguez. Now, before I look at his filmography, it said that he did that... Uh, I can't remember what it said, but I think he did the Predators movie that came out in 2010. So let me look and see if I am correct or wrong. I know. Oh, yeah. Said he said he did Sin City. Uh, let's see real quick. That trailer was so good. It got me singing. Bro, you got 42 directing credits. You're just throwing out stuff. Okay. Machete, Planet Terror. Okay. I guess you did not do that. Who... Who did the, uh, who did the, I mean, I, I'm getting off topic. We're going to talk about the trailer, but I got to know who did that. This is Robert Rodriguez, Predators, not Predator, the new one, Predator is the remake that came out with Adrian Brody and Lawrence Fishburne. Uh, okay. I was way off. That was Nimrod at all. I don't know what the hell I was thinking. Anyway, uh, but back to this right here. So, James Cameron's name was plastered all over this. Uh, he did Avatar, uh, Titanic, True Lies, Terminator 1 and 2, Aliens. Uh, 
I think the abyss or something. One of those. I may be leaving the movie out. So I wonder how uh, involved he is going to be over this. I know it's just a producer, but at the same time, they are the ones that run the movie. So, uh, but that's good because James Cameron is fantastic. Now, uh, Jackie Earl Hurley is in this. Uh, he was Rorschach, Rorschach in the Watchmen film that I did not like the first time I saw it, but um, I loved it the second time. Christoph Waltz, fantastic direct, fantastic actor. I really did love him in Django Unchained and Inglorious Bastards. His performance was dope. Uh, he has won two Oscars, uh, which was in 2013 for Django Unchained for best performance by an actor in a supporting role. And in 2010, Inglorious Bastards, yeah. So I liked him in this. Now, there's a ton of CGI elements all over this film, uh, all over this trailer. And that seems like the point. When you look at the contrast of a CGI character, Alita, and Christopher Watts' character, uh, whose name is Dr. Dyson Ido or Ido, it doesn't look real. I mean, you can tell that she's fake, but that's the point or whatever, because I think she has to do with some type of um, artificial intelligence, robot, something like that. I don't know. Let me read the synopsis. An action-packed story of a young woman's journey to discover the truth of who she is and her fight to change the world. Uh, let me read a bigger, longer one. Alita is a creation from an age of despair found by the mysterious Dr. Ido or Ido while trolling for cyborg parts. Alita becomes a lethal, dangerous being. She cannot remember who she is or where she came from. But to Dr. Ido, the, the truth is all too clear. She is one being who can break the cycle of death and destruction left behind from Typhers type. I don't know. But to accomplish her true purpose, she must fight and kill. And that is where Alita's true uh, significance come to bear. She is an angel from heaven. She is an angel of. Oh, she is an angel. She is an angel from heaven. She is an angel of death. Interesting. I am all over this film right here. All over this movie. Real talk. It look freaking good. Uh, the effects are there. You can see that clearly in the film. I know the action is going to be, I don't know, but I'm very confident the action is going to be great too. Um, I just needed some good story and good, good characters, you know, and I, I'm on board. Uh, I cannot wait. The hell was that? I cannot wait to, uh, watch this trailer again. Uh, when I upload these videos, because that man, I'm a freaking kung fu accent junkie, man. I, I can watch that all day, all night, all weekend, all, all, whatever. But the trailer looked great. Uh, God, I'm sorry. I just saw the budget for the film. It's $200 million. What? That is stupid. Ah, Lord. My enthusiasm just crashed and burned. $200 million now. I'm, I don't know everything. I'm not no guru. I was finna sign off. But I just, it just had box office budget. $200 million esti estimated. Oh, shit. Oh, um, that's the same amount of money as Black Panther. Damn, that's a lot of bread. Um, is Alita a, a, a famous... Uh, hold on. I got to catch my breath after this one. Is Alita Battle Angel based off some book or a past franchise that I'm not familiar with that, you know, is popular around the world? I don't know, but two hundred million dollars off of a un I I'm going in into this as like an unknown franchise that nobody knows about. So I I don't know. That's just God dog. Um, uh, okay. In 2016, Variety reported that the movie will have a budget between 175 and 200 million, which makes it the biggest budget that Robert Rodriguez has already had. Damn. I mean, I don't know, man. I mean. I'm pretty sure the money was spent wisely. Uh, it was spent well. I don't, uh, that didn't make sense what I just said. I'm pretty sure the money wasn't wasted, but because James Cameron uh, knows what he's doing, I trust him. So that's kind of making me calm down a little bit. It just kind of scared the crap out of me. $200 million. I'm like, yeah, you, you, you only spend that much amount of money on a known IP that, you know, you know, you're going to get a return on, you know what I'm saying? Like, uh, you know, Avengers or something, but you know, whatever. But 
I did like the trailer. I didn't like their budget, but I did like the trailer. But guys, that is just my opinion of the Alita a Battle Angel trailer. What did you think? Did you like it? Did you hate it? Did I turn you on? Did I turn you off? Do you agree with me or do you disagree with me? Let me know down in the comment section below. Let's get this conversation going and keep it flowing. If you like this video, go ahead and give me the thumbs up. And if you don't, that's fine, but you can still subscribe to my channel. You can also look me up on social media, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. All the good stuff is right there at the bottom of the screen. And I made it very easy by providing a link to all the good stuff there in the description box below. And please share the video, guys. Um, you know, help me reach 10,000 subscribers. Uh, but guys, again, I just want to thank you again for tuning in to my opinion slash review slash reaction for Alita Battle Angel, directed by Robert Rodriguez. Uh, we got uh, Jennifer Connelly in this thing, Jackie Earl Hurley, Christoph Waltz, and Michelle Rodriguez in the $200 million budget. And before you go, the most important thing, don't forget to always chase your dreams. I'm chasing mine. My name is Brandon Keith Avery, and that's just my opinion. Peace.